My name is Margie Grell, and I'm going to talk about a painting in the series Gone to Seed that I have at Silverwood Park Gallery. The project looks at 12 invasive plant species in Minnesota. Even though the park buildings are closed, you can see most of the series through the gallery windows, or you can visit my website for a full catalog of the work. The first piece I discussed was garlic mustard, and that video can be found on Silverwood Park's Facebook page. Today I'm going to talk about my painting titled Glossy Buckthorn. It is oil on board and the dimensions are 10 inches by 18 inches long. The interesting thing about this painting is almost right as I began researching buckthorn, I would end up seeing it everywhere I went. I would be hiking or walking around the city and I would inevitably spot a buckthorn seedling and then there would be more of them. It was a surreal experience to seek out this plant in a studio setting and then have my eyes open to how prevalent it is in our everyday environment. The painting of buckthorn, or more specifically glossy buckthorn, was the first successful painting I had in the series. A significant change in how I approached this painting was creating a design scheme for the piece before I began actually painting. Typically in my process, I'll figure out how a work is going to look as I'm doing it, but for this project, I needed each leaf, stem, and in this case, berry, to be identifiable as a specific species. I mapped out the first branch by looking at images of buckthorn on the Minnesota noxious weed list from the Department of Agriculture. Once I had a template, I could then figure out where I wanted to place the design on the wood, making sure that my design wouldn't cover up the more interesting parts of the wood grain. I used alder wood boards as a starting point because the knots and the burls match the horizontal wood paneling on the gallery walls at Silverwood Park. When I first finished this painting, right after I applied the copper leaf, I set it up so I could admire it and was really taken aback at how decorative it was. It reminded me of something from a fancy stationery store or a really nice wedding invitation. Normally, if a painting gets too decorative or too pretty, I'll add a messier layer to reflect a more realistic portrayal of a landscape. In this case, the buckthorn, as an invasive species, is that messy layer. Also, I think the prettiness of this painting is appropriate, as most invasive species were introduced as decorative plants. The species themselves are beautiful with fascinating characteristics, but are truly devastating to the landscape. One thing Missy Anderson, the invasive species coordinator, reminded me when we were talking about this project is that while humans are the only species that could cause this much harm to the environment, we're also the only ones that can start to repair the damage. 